Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to open your first Zazzle store. So I'm going to assume that you're brand new and you are starting from absolutely square one. The first thing we're gonna do is create an account. So we're gonna hit this icon in the, we're on Zazzle.com and we're gonna hit the sell on Zazzle icon in the top right. And then click on sell on Zazzle. And then there's a couple of options here. You can sign in through an email address and make a password. You can sign in through Facebook, through Google, or through your Apple account. So for this example, I'm going to sign in with Google. All right, so we're signed in. Next, we're gonna need to verify our email. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna show you guys this but go to your email account, click on the email, pretty simple. Okay, now it's automatically gonna take you to the Open a Zazzle store page, but before we do that, I want to do a few housekeeping items with you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my account and you're going to click on profile and you wanna add a profile picture. I've actually got some templates for you guys so that you don't need to worry about sizing. The link is in the description. It's totally free and it's templates for your profile picture, your profile banner, the category cover image templates, collection banner templates. I can't remember all the things that are in there. There's like six or seven different image templates in there. So I'm gonna link that for you in the description below. So the first thing we wanna do is add a profile picture. So we're gonna click on this and I'm just gonna add an old photo of me. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, let's just add my YouTube profile picture. Next thing we wanna do is go into our settings. You can add your first name, your last name. You, I believe that you can use a pen name if you don't wanna use your real name, but Zazzle definitely encourages you. It says right here, people use real names and photos on Zazzle, so they definitely want you to be using your real name and your real photo. You also have the option to select that you are a business and add a company name. Next, you wanna add a tagline. So maybe you wanna go aspiring artist entrepreneur or something like that. And then for your about section, it can be really just something about you, something a little bit personal. This is your overall account. This isn't your shop just yet. So this is your account profile. I'm an aspiring artist and entrepreneur. I love spending time cozied up with my dog and a hot cup of tea while reading a book. Something simple, not too, like you really don't need to get too, too, particular about this. If you need some help coming up with an about section or a tagline or any of that kind of stuff, I highly recommend just playing with ChatGPT a little bit, having a conversation with ChatGPT and you're gonna get some ideas flowing. Next is the profile banner image. Here's my profile banner template. It's not too exciting. It just says Profits Unraveled in the corner. And then you can choose if you want to add your gender, your birthday. If you have a website, you can add your website, a city, state, province, region, and or your country. And you can select if you want to display that on your profile. So make sure you hit submit. And now we want to go down over to the top of that page. And on the left hand side, there's social networks. So we're going to click on that. And this is where you can add any of your personal social links. If you have an Instagram page where you show your art or something like that, this would be a good place to put it. And then in advanced settings, this is what your homepage for your profile is going to show. So you might wanna add your stores, your collections, your latest products created or sold. It's really up to you. Probably your collections and your stores are gonna be the most relevant on your profile homepage. Okay, the next thing, so now that we have our profile kind of set up here, the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we're signed up for the associates program. So you're going to hit the profile icon in the top right hand side and go to, it's not on here yet, go to my account and then go to earnings. And we're gonna click on this associates tab. And all you're gonna do is if you want to enroll, definitely do your own due diligence and read through the, the documentation here. But all you need to do is hit yes and enroll me. And then they're going to give you an associates number and the instructions for all of that. It's really simple to use. You're just gonna put this code at the end of any link. And then that is your referral code. 
and I'm gonna unenroll this account because I don't need this. I'm gonna delete this account right after anyways. Okay, now that we've done all that, we can set up our shop. So let's go back to the My Account tab and My Profile, and then you're gonna click over here into Stores This on this to top bar here. We're gonna click Stores, and we're gonna click Open a New Store. And this is where you need to come up with your store name. So don't get too hung up on your store name pick something that makes sense for your niche, but gives you opportunity to grow. And if you need to come up with some ideas, again, I recommend that you have some conversations with ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to give you a list of 50 shop names for your Zazzle store in such and such niche. That'll give you lots of ideas. Now, the only thing with the shop name, you are able to change your shop name. However, the link, the URL that it gives you will always stay the same. If anything, go more generic to start. And then if you wanna change it to something more specific, you can, but that URL is going to stay the same. For example, if you were to name your shop, I love basketball, and it was gonna be all basketball stuff. And then you decided, you know what, I actually wanna do baseball stuff. And you changed your shop name, that URL is still going to say, I love basketball. So just be sure if you're going to, if you think you're gonna change your shop name in the end, just choose something a little more generic to start, like I love sports instead. All right, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, give me 50 shop name ideas for a shop in the basketball niche on Zazzle. Slam Dunk Styles, Hoop Haven Creations, B-Ball Boutique. Yeah, all right, so there's some fun ones on here. Dunk Dynasty, <laughs> Skyhook Haven. I like Slam Dunk Styles, I thought that was cute. Slam Dunk Styles, and we're gonna now create a store. All right, now this is really similar to our profile page. We need to now fill it out for our shop. So we've got the shop name, we got a tagline, Basketball Lovers Haven. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making this up on the spot here. And tell people a little bit about your store. How did it get started and what is its story? All right, so we're gonna I ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas again for the about section of our shop. So I said, now I need to write a little about section for the shop. Can you help me. The shop is going to sell items in the basketball niche. Give me five ideas that are 50 words each. Welcome to Slam Dunk Styles. Dive into our dynamic world of basketball inspired fashion and accessories. From court to closet, our curated collection captures the essence of the game. Elevate your style with our slam dunk designs. Celebrating the spirit of basketball on and off the court. Score big with every purchase. That's cute. I'm just going to pick that one. This is a good opportunity to add a bit of a call to action for people to contact you if they need help with anything. I'd just like to take a second to invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'm coming out with new Zazzle content regularly and I have lots of exciting things coming down the pipeline. So make sure you're subscribed to get all that good stuff. And now we need our store banner, which I am just going to grab my template again. And then if you have a website URL, here is the place to put it in and then any tags. So you're able to put five tags in. I would make slam dunk styles, multiple words here, basketball, sports, I don't know. You can come up with your five tags. And then again, an option to add your location information. Now we gotta make sure we hit submit so that it saves and it says, now you can start selling your designs on thousands of products, start designing products. But before we do that, there's a couple of things that we wanna take care of. So we're just gonna hit the back button and we wanna go up to the top of the page again and click on social networks. And this is where we're gonna add any social media links for specifically for our shop. Oh, and we forgot to add a shop cover photo. So we're going to click on this image here. I've got that template. I mean, these are all just blank, so they're not very exciting, but that's okay. So the social media links, any social media links that you have that that go with this shop, you'll wanna add those. You might not have those yet, but just keep it in mind that this is where you go to do it into settings and then social networks. And then the next thing you want to do is go to advanced settings here. This is where you get to customize your shop front. So this is actually really important because if customers click through to your shop, this is what they're going to be presented with. So you wanna make a bit of a strategy here on what you want to present to customers when they show up at your doorstep. So I definitely don't like to do latest products created. I think that having a featured collection is really good because then it will show the products in the collection and then you can have your collections, your categories, 
and you can pick a specific category and then products. And I like for products that you can also pick a specific category. Now we're gonna scroll down the page just a little bit and look at some of these other sections. So design migration, you wanna make sure that always migrate my content onto new products is selected. An example of what this means is for iPhone cases. Every year, the iPhone, I think, I think it's yearly that they come out with a new iPhone. And so that means that a new iPhone case is created every year. If you have this selected, always migrate my content onto new products, then you don't need to worry if you have like 100 designs for the iPhone 14 cases, you don't need to worry about manually transferring all those designs over to the iPhone 15 cases because Zazzle's gonna do it for you. So make sure you have that selected. The next thing is design transfer. This feature allows customers to transfer the design of the origin product to another product available in our create your own section. And that is also really important. So that means if you have a design, again, on a phone case, but they want the design, the customer wants it on a laptop case instead, they can just with the click of a button, transfer the design over to a different product and purchase that product. You will make your default royalty rate, which we should actually just grab this open in a new tab. And we're gonna wanna set that in just a second. Next, if you want to track your views and your statistics, you may wanna set up a Google Analytics account to track all of that. So you can put your Google Analytics tracking ID into this tab. And I actually have a little guide on how to do that on my website. And I will link to that down below as well. And the last thing, and this is really important, is marketing and promotions. Zazzle Markets promotes and sells your products on zazzle.com and its affiliate sites and may also do so on other websites. It automatically checks this off not to allow my products to be sold on other websites. And for me, I want my products sold on every website. So I prefer to toggle this off, but that's totally up to you. And it's not just selling your products. You're of course gonna make a commission on anything that's sold. It's not just selling your products, it's promoting your products as well. So that's promoting your products on Google search results and other websites. So this is really important because Zazzle pumps a lot of money into promotion and marketing and you want to be a part of that. So that's a really easy way to get your products out there with really no extra work on your part. Make sure you hit submit so that that is saved. Now let's jump over to that default royalty tab that we had opened in a new tab earlier and we want to set our default royalty. So it's automatically set to 5% and personally I think that's pretty low. You can change your royalty every time you publish a product and you can make a custom royalty rate every single time that you publish a new product. But when a customer takes your design and puts it on a different product, you're gonna make that default royalty rate. So we definitely don't want it to just be the 5% because that can be a pretty low commission on lower priced items. So I personally like to set it between 10 and 12%. I think the average is 10%, but sometimes I'm like, well, the default royalty rate, maybe I might just set a little higher, but for the sake of this example, I'm gonna set it to 10 and then make sure that you update the page so that they have got that. And then one more thing is just make note of this. If you decide to change your royalties later on, changes to your royalty percentage for existing products go into effect on the 20th of every month. New products will get this royalty immediately. So just keep that in mind. If you change the royalty on one of your products, it's not going to take effect until the 20th of that month or the next month. And then also every year around the holiday season, Zazzle freezes royalties. And I think it's usually, they let you know in I think early October and you have until the end of October to set your royalty rate. And then it's frozen until the new year. So just something to keep in mind. And that's all you have to do to open your shop. So now we can start creating our products and I show you exactly how to create products in this video that I'm showing you on the screen right now. So click on that video and you'll learn four different ways to navigate through the platform to create your own products. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, please give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed for more Zazzle tips. Bye.